How's it going folks? Posted a couple of pictures of these little tiny mouse melons on Instagram and Facebook and had a couple of people ask me so I thought I'd just do a little bit of a clip answering a couple of the questions and giving you a bit more information about them. To begin with the Latin name. The Latin name is probably going to bumble through this. Molothria scabra I think is how you pronounce it. Not quite sure. Uh, it also has a whole heap of different common names. Uh, Mexican mouse melon, Mexican mouse gherkin, mouse melon, uh, miniature melon, also uh, another name here is cucumelon. So yeah, they've got a whole different load of names depending on where you live around the place. They are a native to Mexico and Central America and you can pretty much well find them growing wild in a lot of spots so I've read. Um, these little fellas have a really nice crisp flavour to them. They're they do have a cucumber um, fleshy taste, but around the skin and around the outside it gives them a bit of a sour kick, a little bit citrusy. Uh, we don't mind them at all. We've been using them as just snacks, walking around the patch, also in salads, something to nibble on in the house. And we plan on making up a whole heap of sweet dill pickles with them uh, if we can collect enough and not eat them. Also read that some people like to throw them in stir fries. Um, I don't know how that would go. I might give it a crack and see how it goes, but yeah, it's not something we've tried yet. These plants behind me here, we planted them out uh, in some of the hottest weather we had over summer and I burned a lot of the tips off. It actually took quite a while to establish themselves. I thought it was just me but apparently um, after reading a little bit more on them they are a slow vine to get started. We had one fruit sitting on there for ages and then all of a sudden it just erupted into these tiny little cute miniature flowers and yeah the, the fruits just hasn't stopped appearing ever since. They are a cucurbit, so they're, they're a member of the, the melon, pumpkin, squash, cu um, cucumber family. So they have male and female flowers. So they are a very, very tiny, delicate little fruit when they start to form. Uh, I haven't tried to hand pollinate any of these guys like we have with zucchinis and pumpkins. Flowers are just too tiny. I'm just leaving it up to the uh, bees and the other pollinators we have around. So far I haven't seen many that have fallen off or dried up really small so whether their pollen's just that fine and they can manage to pollinate themselves or the bees are down here when I'm not, yeah they, we've had a fairly good pollination rate. Uh, one thing I've noticed with them is that they tend to have a fruit or a flower um, set at every leaf junction. Where the leaf comes out of the vine um, you have a little um, either a cluster or a single melon form. Uh, these guys here they're they can be treated as a perennial in certain climates. We're subtropical here in southeast Queensland and this thing just does not look like it's going to give up uh, putting out the female flowers or the males. So yeah, I think we're going to be getting fruit all through winter here luckily enough. Other places I think it's an annual crop. You've got to um, be a good idea to start them off inside, uh, get a little bit of a head start and then put them out a little bit later. Uh, just because they do take a little while to establish themselves in the garden. We found them to be very pest and disease resistant. Uh, we haven't had any powdery mildew on these guys at all, knock on wood. Um, also too we haven't had any of the little cucumber moth that normally decimate and strip the leaves off our other cucumbers. Uh, the gimpy golds out the front got hammered over summer and so did the West Indian cucumbers we had. Um, they got hammered as well towards the end so but yep yeah, so far nothing on here at all. Powdery mildew not a problem whatsoever. Um, downy mildew as well. They're the two that hit a lot of the cucurbits around here. We have had a couple of the melons have like a little blowout. So obviously something's getting in there and laying an egg. Um, the melon's blowing out and when you cut it open, there doesn't appear to be a lot of damage. So I'm not too sure what's going on there. Um, normally a fruit fly will hang around and hollow out um, the fruit it's in. So yes, yeah, it'd be interesting to find out what's actually doing that. I haven't had a chance to catch them in action though. So yeah, I'm a, I'm a bit in the dark on that one at the moment. Seed saving for these guys can be a little bit tricky, uh, mainly because they don't change colour or shape much once they hit a certain size. So what I've told the girls to do is not harvest any from the actual bed itself. Uh, we're just harvesting from the fruit that is growing on the hoop house at the moment, on the um, insect netting. So we're picking those guys only at the moment. I'm trying to let the fruit mature as long as I can. I had a whole patch there in the bed that I was, wasn't letting anyone pick from, and I saved a whole heap of seeds from those a while back. All, all I pretty much will do is just like any other cucumber, chop, chop them in half, squeeze the um, seeds out into a jar with a little bit of water and just let the little gel sacs ferment off. 
took about four days here, mainly because it's a little bit cooler at the moment. But in summer with the larger cucumbers, I've had the um, little sacks fermented off in about 48 hours. So it's pretty much all the easiest way I've found to do it. I have also just put them on plates and let them dry out. But yeah, the seeds look a bit funky with the dried out gel sack around them, I found. From what I've read, they won't cross with other cucumbers. Um, you'll get zucchinis crossing with zucchinis and some squash pumpkins with each other, um, watermelons with each other and that sort of thing. But apparently these guys, they're a wild form. So it was said on the side I read, um, they're a wild form and they won't cross with your normal cucumbers so that's a bit of a bonus if that's correct suss it out for yourself though just to make sure when you're planting these guys out you really don't need a heavy duty trellis i've got them just growing up the outside of the uh, hoop house here on the veggie net it's supposed to keep bugs and pests out of the um main part of the patch and they're hanging on fine uh, we haven't had any problem with them falling off at all the, they're also quite happy to grow over the top of themselves and circle around the bed there so I suppose it depends on how you want to grow them. Uh, I can see a point in the future before summer where I'm going to have to um, trim it back off the hoop house being a perennial will just continue to grow here um, so I'm, I'm not too sure what will happen then I might try and work out some sort of a, um, a trellis towards the back fence here so they get a little bit more sun and hope they don't run over James's shed so so there you go, there's a bit of a look at these little tiny midget mouse melons. Um, I'm really happy that uh, Pete sent the seeds up. Thank you very much, mate, and we decided to pop them in. Um, I definitely think they're going to be a, a feature plant in our garden for years to come. Uh, just so easy to grow, and yeah, very easy to pick and just throw on a plate for dinner or just snack on around the yard. A couple of people have also asked me about seeds for these guys. You can buy them online. I think diggers sell them here in Australia. I don't mind uh, helping people out where I can. I'm a member of a seed sharing group over here in Australia. That's an Australian based one. Um, but I really can't um, save as many seeds as I'd like, especially from things like this. I mean, I want to eat them. So yeah, I will pretty much will leave it there. If you do have any comments, questions or suggestions, pop them in the comments section below and I'll get back to you. Other than that, I hope you all have a great one and take it easy. Catch ya. Just found this little praying mantis as I was finishing filming. Getting a load of them around at the moment. Probably shouldn't intimidate him too much. Let him get back to munching on the bugs. Good job, matey. I haven't seen any of the cucumber moth that normally attacks and strips the leaves on the other cucumber vines we grow around here. Um, that plane's coming back. The seeds are also that tiny and the plane's back again. So now that most of the people have gone, um, I will give away 10 packs. So all you need to do is send an email to bitsoutthebackcomp at gmail.com. I'm whispering and I don't know why, probably so they don't hear. Um, send an email there just with mouse melon or var any variant of the common name in the um, title and I'll put you in the draw to win one of 10 of these little packs. Um, they'll, they'll be going worldwide, not just Australia, worldwide I'll send them. Um, I will send them, but if they are held up by your customs um, or biosecurity people, very sorry, um, I'm not responsible for that. So, yeah, just pop the um, pop a, a email off to that address, and yeah, two weeks time, I'll post the date here when I edit it. Two weeks time, I'll do a bit of a draw, and I'll post it on our Facebook page, and I'll also PM the people who win as well on YouTube. But I won't make a big announcement. So, there you go, guys. Good luck. Happy growing.